name is Michael Stevens and welcome to Michael Stevens Healing. I want to talk about just something that has really been on my, my heart for, for probably about a week, maybe a week and a half. And it's just really, it's, it's about the, the healing journey and about a human being connecting into parts of their body that are bound up and, and experiencing potentially uh, scary energy. Um, I think that's probably the best way I can describe it. And what I'm saying is that you know, in our life, that there, there, are, in, in our body, there are places of free energy. It's just open and it's willing to be worked with, and it's, it's safe. That's the key word. It's safe. But then there's places in our in our body that are bound up, and they're kind of like bound up and stuffed away. And the reason why we have bound energy in our system is because there are experiences that for whatever reason, we don't have the, the skill set to, to deal with or process the emotion of the experience. So like you, it could be watching your mom get beat up by your father when you're six years old. It could be being sexually assaulted, being hazed in, you know, when you were a freshman in high school, being fired, uh, made fun of by a mob, spit on. I mean, there's so many things that it can be combat, like just getting sent off to war and just having to see people kill, get killed, and you potentially having to do those things yourself. There are two aspects of the autonomic nervous system, which is the, the part of our nervous system that is, is automatic. Like this is, this is the voluntary nervous system. I'm moving around. Involuntary is we don't have control over that, like breathing, heartbeat, digestion, those kind of things. Thank goodness. And the autonomic is split is split into two parts. One is the parasympathetic, which is rest, ease, digestion, think healing, recovery, and then the other side is the sympathetic, which is fight, flight, freeze. Like, oh shit, there's a bear coming, I'm gonna die. Like, what do I do? Well, the issue with, when the sympathetics are fired up, like if you're, a, if you're an animal in, 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 in the wild and say there literally is a bear that's gonna try to kill you and you run away, you're a deer and you run away and you know, then the bear is gone and 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you're back to eating and grazing again. Like, like no problem, right? But as human beings, we have the ability to relive trauma over and over and over again. Something could happen when you're five years old and you can be 35 years old and you're actually like reliving the moment right now as it's happening. And we get these like these play loops, right? Like it's like, you know, you'll, you'll have triggers and the thought will come up and you'll relive the situation and years can go by. And what ends up happening is we start like, we have stress physiology, like our body starts, starts to become just bound up and just they become like actual reflections of like how we're feeling most of the time. And you know, during this process, you know, this bound energy can just it, it, it'll grow and it'll grow and it'll grow. You know, say like you know you were molested, and you don't feel safe about like anywhere around your private areas, like right, you, like, you don't want to like your, your genitals, like you start thinking about sexual things with people. You, may, you know, like you, you just you, you don't feel comfortable being vulnerable in that way. So. You know, say you don't play sports, you know, because you know you don't want to, you don't want to have to shower with the guys at the end because you just don't want people looking at you because it brings up stuff. You're not going to go to yoga, maybe. You know, it's really good for you, but you're not going to go to yoga because you're not trying to get down in child's pose and feel vulnerable like that. So you can see how certain situations, certain experiences stored up in our body that's not processed can cause the the, the course of our life to get altered a certain way. You know, by the people you're around, the places you go, the way, the, the, the ways that you take care of yourself. What, what I do for people in, in my studio is that I give people an opportunity to, to safely reconnect into the energy uh, that that they may have stored away that may be bound and off limits to someone. Because safety is 
This is a super important thing. And what I do is I, I focus on the free energy. I focus on what's working in someone's life. I focus on the, the, the places that, that the person feels safe. And what you focus on, you get more of. And as I bring focus to those, those places of free energy, it expands. And as that free energy expands, it'll naturally butt up against places that are bound up. But the cool thing about this is that when bound energy is 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 uh, being confronted with, but with free energy, the bound energy naturally will entrain to the free energy. So as so, what's great about this is as a person grows in personal power, inner strength, as a person personally merges with more of who and what they really are, the bound energy will entrain to the free energy. And it, it'll be a grace, it's a graceful process. There's not like, oh my gosh, like, you know, the, the lights start flickering on and off and the windows break, it's not nothing like that. It's actually a, a, it's actually a graceful, natural experience. Because the truth is, we are not meant to, like, we, we are not creatures that are meant to just hold on and not process things. I think that we, we're truly magical beings, but somewhere down the line, we were we, we were no longer taught how to find our our true source of power, which is within us, and we, we were not taught the skills to, to move through things, you know, in life. We you know we're taught how to you know, get some kind of medication or go to this person or this seminar or get this vehicle, and that'll take away our problems. And it's all focused on the outside of us. And what I'm here to say is that our true power has and always will be right here, right inside of us. And this is the places, this is how we focus. And, and it's not just focusing on the inside, it's focusing on what's working on the inside. So I know this is kind of a rant. Uh, this is like one of those things, like I just gotta make a video, but I, I just hope that you, um, you got some value from this. And if you live in my area or if you subscribe to my channel, like feel free, message me. There are things that, that um, that can really benefit you and your life in, in um, extraordinary ways uh, without having to come inside of my actual studio that can help you gracefully move through whatever you have to move through. Because ultimately, you know, I want you to be the whole version of yourself. It's so important to be the whole version. And the places that are bound up, even though they may be terrifying and seriously uncomfortable, trust me, like if they had a choice, they, they would want to be included with the rest of you and the rest of your life because a place that's bound up bound up and off limits, that's energy that you don't have access to. That's energy that can that's fuel that can help fuel you to the version of yourself that you want to become. And that's fuel that you don't have access to until you have the skill set to uh, to merge with that, to integrate that into your life. So I hope this was a, a wonderful uh, experience for you. I hope you got some value out of this. Um, it's my pleasure to just share these these insights with you, and I hope that um, I hope this uh, can help you move forward. So have a nice day.